Just your first impression. What do you see? What do you experience? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's at the airport. Mm-hmm. I'm at the airport. The airport. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I'm so confused. Mm-hmm. She looks just like my grandmother. Mm-hmm. She looks like my grandmother. Which grandmother do you see? Mama Melita. I thought it was Mama Melita. Mm-hmm. Mama Melita. Tell me more. She's so happy to see us. Mm -hmm. My mom keeps telling us, don't get lost. Come and say hello, don't be shy. And she hugs us with this kindness. My uncle is there. Mm -hmm. My aunt looks so much like my grandmother. It was just like I remembered her. It's so warm. I just got off the airplane. How old are you there? I'm eight. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens next. looking for the cars so that we can all ride to my aunt's house. So many members of the family. I was so surprised. There's so many. Mm -hmm. Look around, see who's there with you. That's my cousins. I'm Brian. My mom and my dad and my other aunt and we're all outside the airport entrance. We're all running around. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I can't get over how warm it is. The air is so warm. Mm-hmm. Where are you? In the Dominican Republic. Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens next. Let's go to the next significant scene there. We're at Grandma's house. Mamelita has covered porch where you can put the cars under it. It's a carport made out of cement. Mm -hmm. And it's rocking chairs. Wicker ones. Sturdy but made by hand. And the old folks sit in the rocking chairs. They rock and they rock and they rock. Mm -hmm. Who's sitting in those rocking chairs now? My grandma and my grandpa and my mom and my dad and Tia Mireya mm -hmm. and Tio Luis and Tia Matilde. We got so many of them. Mm -hmm. And the kids, we have instruments. We're playing music. Mm -hmm. What are you playing with? <laughs> My brother has a bongo. Mm -hmm. My grandfather gave it to him. He bought it for him. And the top is like leather and it's stretched out over the top. It looks like Ricky Ricardo. Babaloo, babaloo. Mm -hmm. And my brother's really good. He's young, but he's good. Mm -hmm. And I have a guayo. Mm -hmm. And it's a little fork. And it's got three long little pieces of little rods of metal. Mm -hmm. And I scratch it 
mm-hmm. on this tube and it's got little pokey holes like somebody poked holes from the inside and made the top scratchy like a cheese grater, a round cheese grater. It looks like a rocket mm-hmm. and it has a little handle on it. And I would, I would rub the cheese grater, the, the fork on it, and it would make noise. And we're good. We're, we're making good music. Mm-hmm. And the beat is so uplifting. <laughs> and Theo Luis is, he's so funny. He gets up and he starts dancing to our music. And it just made us more passionate about it. We just played harder and better. And we're a pack of kids. We're just a pack of kids. Mm-hmm. How do you feel there? <laughs> awesome. I love music. Mm-hmm. We're so good. We really are. It was so much fun to see the dancing. I can't believe they got up and they were dancing to our music. Mm-hmm. Do you realize that when you make mm-hmm. your own music and have fun at it, others appreciate you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want you to feel your entire body with that feeling of accomplishment, of knowing that others appreciate what you do, and that when you have fun, it always sounds like music. Playing the piano. Tell me what you see next. Music. Mm-hmm. I'm at a recital. Mm-hmm. I'm playing somewhere over the rainbow. playing it on the piano and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced I make a little mistake but I just keep right on going and they clapped the whole place is just clapping how do you feel on top of the world mm-hmm couldn't believe I did it. You did do it, and that's who you are. Feel those emotions in every cell of your body, remembering that when you do well, others appreciate it, and they like it. That you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish by practicing and putting your heart into it. And even though you make little mistakes here and there, it, the whole thing at the end is how much they appreciate you. Because we're all human, we all make mistakes. Fill all of your body with that appreciation for your talents. Close that scene and let's go to another significant scene in that lifetime. Graduation. Graduation. Mm-hmm. How old are you? I'm 20. 20 something. 20 something. 22. Mm hmm. Where are you? Talon College. Mm-hmm. In college. I worked so hard for that master's. Mm-hmm. I'm so proud. I'm so proud, huh? I'm walking down the aisles and they had canopy because of the sunlight. And so many people, hundreds of people, sitting in chairs under the canopies. And all the graduates are all walking. I 
have my cap and gown on and I have a shawl thing that goes over my shoulders in the royal blue and gold. Mm-hmm. And as I'm walking down the aisle, everybody's yelling, What's your married name, Mary? What's your name now? I just got married. Mm-hmm. I want you to look at your posture and see yourself as you're walking down that aisle with so much pride, knowing that you accomplished such a great thing after putting so much work into it. See yourself. Use that memory to burn it into your remembrance of what it looks like to be proud of your accomplishments, knowing that when you work hard at something and believe in yourself, you can accomplish anything with your shoulders back and your head up high, knowing that you did it. Tell me what happens next. Ceremony's over. We're taking pictures. My sister in law is there, and her husband, Rudy. And my husband is there. And my parents are there, and my Tia Billy and Uncle Felix are there, and they're so happy. Everybody wants to be in the pictures. Mm -hmm. And why do you think they want to be in the picture? They were so proud of me. Mm -hmm. They continue to be proud of you. This moment continues to be a moment in time. This moment still exists. Take it in, breathe it in, engrave it into your memory of all of yourselves, knowing how proud everyone was of you and still is. You accomplish things that they were not able to accomplish. And they applaud you for it and honor you for it. What happens next? Hmm. I am a teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher. Tell me what you teach. Everything. Mm -hmm. Math. And English. Mm -hmm. A, B, C. I'm writing on the chalkboard. Mm -hmm. It's so quiet, so obedient, so happy to be there. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel being there? Mm -hmm. I'm just so trying to teach them everything. Mm -hmm. I'm the only influence that they have. Mm -hmm. 
It's a positive I'm, influence, isn't it? I have to go home and work. Mm-hmm. I'm kind. I want to be kind. I want them to love me. I want to make a difference. Some of them are small. Some of them are big. Mm-hmm. But they're all so attentive. We read. I sit in the corner by the window and I read to them. And I tell them stories. And I want you to connect with those children and see what it is that they're thinking about you. <clears throat> what do they think about you? They think I'm smart. Mm -hmm. They think I'm kind and sweet. I don't know, wish they could come home with me. I love them so. I want you to take all of that energy from those children and know who you are. Because children, use your intuition. They read people, they know who's kind and who isn't. And rather than using their words, you know that they understand exactly who you really are. So let's move forward in time and tell me what happens next. I'm an old lady. Mm -hmm. My hair is gray. And it's up in a bun. Mm -hmm. My clothes look tired. I'm worn. My hands are worn. Mm -hmm. I look old beaten up. Mm -hmm. I sit on the porch in a rocking chair. I'm just rocking. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired. I want you to think back at that entire life that you've lived and tell me what was the mission what was the purpose of this life? Make a difference. Make a difference. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have? Children, they loved me, they grew up, and they still visited. Mm -hmm. These were like your own children. Hmm. Did you have any children of your own? I don't think so. Mm hmm But you had all those other children, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. So I'd like for you to go to the end of that lifetime. To the last day of that your life in that lifetime and tell me where you are. In my bed. Mm-hmm. Are you alone or with others? There's somebody there mm -hmm. holding my hand. Who is this person? I can't see them. How do they feel? Warm. Mm -hmm. 
holding my hand so tight. <laughs> Tell me what you're thinking. I feel so bad leaving them. Mm -hmm. Who is this person holding your hand? You'll know who it is. Your husband. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want to let go. Mm-hmm. I'm so tired, though. So take a last breath. Take your last breath there. Allow yourself to transition out of that body and you can look back at it and tell me what you look like there. What do you feel when you look at your body? Floating in the log cabin. Mm-hmm. Is this where you lived? In the log cabin? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's so sad. He doesn't know what he's gonna do without me. Mm-hmm. Take a good look at his eyes and tell me if you recognize him. They're green. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Go ahead and leave that body behind. And I want you to go drifting and floating. Floating and drifting to another time, another place, where there's more information that will help you. The very best way. Allow yourself to drift and float to another life that's affecting the life of Mary. It's just dark. It's just dark. Mm -hmm. Even when you're in a dark place, there's always something there. Sometimes, like when you walk into a dark room, your eyes need to be adjusted. Adjust yourself to this place and see what it is. Look around you. Do you see any movement? Any lights? It's all still. Mm -hmm. How do you feel in this place? Do you feel like you have any type of body? I feel like it's hollow. I can't touch anything. Mm -hmm. I can't touch anything. Let's find out more. Can you move in this place? It's weird. Mm -hmm. I feel like it doesn't matter in what direction I go, all I see is dark. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can move in that dark. See if you can move in that door. Mm 
What are you experiencing? I feel like I should be afraid, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. How does it feel in this place? It's not cold. Mm -hmm. But it's not warm. I don't feel warmth. It just feels empty. Mm -hmm. If you knew the answer to this question, what would this place be? What is this place? It's a void. It's like... Mm -hmm. It's not a room. Mm -hmm. There's nothing... Nothing around. It's just dark. Mm -hmm. I don't sense anybody but me. What do you imagine this void is for? What do you imagine yourself doing in this place and why? No, I can't think. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't focus on anything. I just keep looking around like I'm looking for something, but I can't mm -hmm. find anything. I'm searching for something to look at, and it's not there. I don't see light. I don't see. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you can imagine it. Imagine the light. Mm-hmm. What happens now? It's a tiny speck in the distance. Very good. Let's find out what happens to the speck as you focus on it. What does the speck do? in response to your focus. It twinkles. Mm -hmm. it twinkles a little. Almost like a candle. Mm -hmm. It's so far. Well, now that you know that you created it, you can make it get closer. Focus on it and see what happens now. It's a fire. What is it? A fire. A fire. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm moving towards it. Mm -hmm. Shimmering and dancing a little more. Mm -hmm. A campfire. A campfire. Mm -hmm. Well, if you see a campfire, there must be other stuff around it, no? Look all around. Where are you? Mm-hmm. There's people quietly sitting around it. There's people quietly sitting around the campfire? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What do these people look like? Indians. Indians. Mm-hmm. Are they male or female? There's a girl. She has braids. Mm-hmm. How old is this girl? She looks young. Mm -hmm. Teen teenager, maybe 14, 15. Mm -hmm. Who else is there? There's guys. There's one. This 
three. Three men? Three men. Mm-hmm. She just sits there quietly. Mm-hmm. I walk up to it. I have braids. You have braids? I have braids. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I can't tell. My feet have moccasins. My feet have moccasins? They're made of leather and straps and fur of some sort. I tie across the top and up. Mm -hmm. What else are you wearing there? It looks like skin. Mm -hmm. Soft. Soft skin? It's soft. Mm -hmm. It's not fabric. It's It's got to be some sort of hide or something because mm -hmm. I can run my hands on it and it feels soft. Mm -hmm. How long is this? It's past my knees. Mm -hmm. But I can see my legs. Does the skin have any decorations on it? It's brown. It's brown. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks like it has some sort of tie at the waist. Mm -hmm. Something's holding it together. It kind of wraps. But I'm warm. Mm -hmm. And it's comfortable. How old do you feel there? I'm not old. Yo. No, 18, 20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know the girl. She looks at me. She looks at me like she knows me. Mm -hmm. Does she feel familiar to you? She does, but I don't recognize the face. Connect with her mind to mind telepathically, and you'll be able to know the answers. You'll be able to know where you are and who these men are and this girl. Let's find out the story of why you're there. My shoulder hurts. Your shoulder hurts. Which one? My left shoulder. Mm-hmm. Take a look and see why it hurts. Oh. Oh. Feels bruised like it's caught. I just feel the throb in the top of my shoulder. Mm-hmm. Is there anything on your shoulder causing it? Yeah. Take a look at it. What is it? Looks like, looks like a big bruise. Mm hmm. It's red and purple. It almost has a center to it, like it's. Like something hit it. Mm -hmm. And the pain just radiates to the edge of my shoulder and up into my neck. Let's find out what caused that bruise. I want you to close that scene and go back in time to find out how you got that bruise. See the scene unfold. Where are you? In the woods. In the woods. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with other? I 
somebody there. Mm -hmm. Who is it? It's a man. How is he dressed? He's got a holster. Mm -hmm. He has a gun. What's he doing there in the woods with you? He feels mean. Mm -hmm. He feels mean. I'm scared of him. What happens next? to run and he hits me with it hits me with something something hits me hard hard it felt like it's something hard mm -hmm. piece of wood maybe I think he was going to hit me in the head, but he missed. And he got me at the top of the shoulder. I fall down. I'm on my hands and knees. Oh my gosh, it hurts so much. You can detach yourself from that scene and just watch it as an observer. Allow yourself to just watch it as an observer. Tell me what happens next. He keeps grabbing at me. He's pulling at me, he's grabbing at me. Not strong enough. Not strong enough to get away. I can't. Can't get away. What happens next? I'm fighting with him, but I'm not winning. I'm not winning. What is he doing to you? He's pulling at me, he's pulling at my clothes, he's just pulling. I'm so scared I can't even scream. Nobody's gonna hear me anyway. What happens now? Are you conscious this whole time? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happened to you? He just takes me and leaves me there. My whole body hurt. Does he hurt you anywhere else? Yes. Where does he hurt you? My wrists from holding them down in the dirt, the ground, it was so uneven and so jagged, it was like the woods. Oh, searing pain. An animal. Mm -hmm. He just took me like an animal. I want you to take a look at his eyes and see if you recognize him in the life. 
of Mary. Mm-hmm. Black hair. Look at his eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize these eyes as someone in the life of Mary? connect and see if it feels like him. He will recognize the vibration. If it is, if it's not, you won't. It's his anger. Mm -hmm. That's the Mm -hmm. And he left me there. Let's find out what else he left you with. I want you to do a scan of your body while you're there and tell me if there's any darkness around you. Anything that's been left behind from this man. Oh, my stomach hurts. Mm hmm. I just want to cringe. Mm hmm. Oh. My legs hurt, they feel like they're cut. Mm -hmm. My shoulder is so bad. Feels like something's broken. So let's do some mending now of that body. I want you to envision yourself being filled with white light. See yourself being filled with white light. And as that light goes through you, healing all of your body and your shoulder. Allow it to go through. And tell me what you feel. Mm-hmm. Very good. So now that that pain is subsiding, you're able to get up. And let's go and see what happens next. Where do you go to next? I'm trying to get home. Mm -hmm. Trying to get to the village. can breathe a little, mm -hmm. but it's labored. I just want to get home. Mm -hmm. Advance the scene and see yourself getting home and tell me where you are. The teepees. Mm -hmm. I can see the teepees. fire. It's lit in the middle of the camp. And there's TVs around it. I'm headed for one in specific. Whose is that? It's my home. Mm -hmm.
I want my mom. Just looking for my mom. She can fix it. Mm. I walk in. Oh, she's so panic stricken. A look on her face. She doesn't say a word. She just walked up to me. She takes me by the hand. She brings me across the TV and she has me sit on the floor. Mm. There's animal skin or mm. it's soft. She has me sit there. And I was gonna say something, she just goes shh. Mm -hmm. shh. She goes to the other side. She's got her back to me, she's doing something. She comes back. water. She has a bowl. Looks like something carved out of a piece of wood, mm -hmm. but it holds water. She's taking a piece of skin or cloth or something. Mm -hmm. She's wiping my face. She pulls the skin off my shoulder. She sees the bruise. She gets up and she goes back to where she was. She comes back with something in her fingers. On her fingers, it's like she has a wad of something. Mm -hmm. She comes. She kneels next to me. Oh, it's so warm. It's hot. It's hot. It burns. She puts it on my shoulder, and it feels so hot. Oh, it burns. It burns. But she says, shh. Shh. I just lean into her. I can't breathe. But I know I would be okay. She'll take care of it. She's just rubbing it on. And she looks at my legs and they're all cut up. There's scratches. She just looks at me. She helps me to lay down. She goes back and gets a little more of whatever it was she had. She rubs it on me. It's like oily. Oily and soothing. It doesn't feel so hot on my legs. Oily like lard. Mm -hmm. What happens now? She covers me. She wanted me to rest. Mm -hmm. She didn't leave my side. Take a good look at your mother. Look at her eyes and see if you recognize her. 
<clears throat> Do you recognize those eyes in the life of Mary? Yes. Whose are those? Mama Lita. Mm -hmm. She rubs my hair. She's singing. Sounds like a chant. Mm -hmm. She's just rubbing my hair. Just quietly laying next to me so I'll fall asleep. And now as you leave that scene, let's move forward to another scene in that same lifetime. Move forward when something significant is happening. Where are you? I'm in a town. I'm in a town. Mm-hmm. Dirt roads. Dirt roads. Mm -hmm. It's so little. There's a store. I'm scared. I don't belong there. What is this place? Close to home. I'm traveling mm -hmm. through there. I'm with somebody. Who is it? He looks like a gentleman. He has a clean white shirt and a coat. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? I, I have on a simple dress. It stands out a little bit like it has a maybe a petticoat or something underneath. Mm -hmm. My hair isn't down in braids anymore. What's changed in your life? I'm older. My hair's in a bun. Mm -hmm. And who is this man that's with you, this gentleman? He protects me. He's mm -hmm. somebody safe. Mm -hmm. But I don't belong. I feel like I don't belong there. I feel out of my element. Like, I'm different, mm -hmm. and I don't belong, but he reassures me. I have my arm hooked into his at the elbow. He's on my left side. Is he older than you? He has his arm bent, like when you walk into a court, mm -hmm. like when you are escorted. Yes. And I'm holding his arm tight, mm -hmm. like I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it is that you're doing in this place. Where are you? like we're stopping to get stuff mm -hmm. or buy trading maybe trading mm -hmm. we're going to the general store we're headed for the store 
Everything's so dusty. Mm-hmm. Stifling in the store. It feels musty. Mm-hmm. But he's walking in with purpose. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He needs to go in there to trade for the stuff we need for home. Mm -hmm. We're just passing through. But I'm so scared when I go into town. I would never go alone. What is it that you're afraid of in this town? You're deep inside of you. I don't belong there. They don't like Indians. They don't like Indians. Is this gentleman an Indian? No. How do you know him? No. Who is he to you? safe. Mm -hmm. He protects me. He pats my hand. That's on his shoulder. That's on his, his elbow. Like it's okay. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay. Don't be scared. He puts his stuff in the wagon and helps me up like a gentleman. He treats me with kindness. We're leaving the town and I hear the gallop of the horses. Such a soothing sound. A clucking of their feet against the ground. So mesmerizing. We're out of the town. I can breathe. Mm -hmm. I lean into his shoulder. I can finally relax. journey's a little long, I can feel like there's still miles ahead of us. But we're going home. I'd like you to advance that scene and see what your home looks like. Where do you live? A small white house. By a river, a, a stream. You can hear the water like a creek. Mm -hmm. Is there anything around this house? Any animals or any? I see a, a barn. Mm -hmm. You can hear horses. Mm -hmm. There's a picket fence, the, uh, not picket, it's made out of wood, it corral, it's like a corral. Mm -hmm. The barn is not far from the house, it's to the right of the house. The creek runs behind it. I can see a well. A lot of land, open, spacious. What is it that you do there to make a living on this, this place? I take care of the house. Mm -hmm. I cook, I clean. I help mind the horses. Mm -hmm. Is this your home, or do you work there? No, I live there. Mm -hmm. I live there with him. Is he your husband? He 
He loves me. I feel that. I feel... I feel like he loves me. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about him? I love him. I've grown to respect him. Mm -hmm. Fair. At first I was afraid. I thought maybe he would hurt me and take advantage of me. But he doesn't. He's so kind. He's sweet. He touches my face so tenderly. He loves me. We're always cautious, though. Why is that? Always cautious. You never know. What do you think would happen? People don't agree. They don't agree. He doesn't belong with an Indian. He doesn't care. All right, let's close that scene now. Let's move ahead to another time in that same lifetime when something very significant is happening something that really impacts that life. Where are you? <clears throat> What's happening? He's running. What's going on? He's running. He's running towards the house. He's running. He's afraid. He's yelling. He's yelling. I can't hear what he's saying. He's yelling. And his, he's waving his hands. They're coming. What do you see? They're coming. Men on horses. They're coming. They're coming. They're shooting. How many are there? There's a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Five, six, maybe more. They're coming and they're coming fast. And they just start shooting. They're shooting. What happens? They shoot him as he's running. Oh, he falls to the ground. I'm screaming. I'm trying to run to him. Oh, there's that searing pain again. Where is it? In my stomach. What happened? They shot me, but I keep running. I'm still trying to get to him. He's on the ground. He's just face forward on the ground. He's not moving. can't leave him there. I can't. What happens next? I can't. 
can't run anymore. I'm crawling. My skirt's in the way. I'm just trying to get my skirt out of the way so I can get, get closer. What happens to your body now? There's so much blood. I don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to tr transition out of that body. Feel yourself leaving that body behind. And now as your soul, you can look at the scene from a different perspective. Every life has a purpose, and every life has lessons. What was the purpose of living this life as this native woman? Why couldn't I just get it? What were you trying to get? It's okay to be different. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be different. He loved me no matter what. Mm -hmm. So what lesson did you learn from this? I was too blind to see it. Mm -hmm. What were you too blind to see? That he could love me. That it was okay for him to love somebody who was different. Mm -hmm. As you transition away the bot with the, from that body, you're able to reconnect with him. Take a look around. See if you see his soul. I don't feel him. Mm -hmm. So let, let's leave that body behind. Allow yourself to leave her behind and as you make your way up to the light I want you to tell me how it is that you are affecting the life of Mary how are you affecting this woman today? Mm -hmm. I fight hard. I don't like restriction. Mm -hmm. I don't like anybody holding me by my hands, mm -hmm. my wrists. Don't touch my wrists. Mm -hmm. Is that because of 
the incident that you had with the soldier? Yes. Mm-hmm. I can't be restricted. Don't strap me. Don't tie me down. Don't. No. 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 I can't. By having this influence on Mary, what's it doing to her? Is it helping her or hurting her? It hurts her. Is it fair for Mary to carry around all of your fears and anger and resentments? No. No. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. What would you rather Mary carry of yours? rather than that. My ability to love. Mm -hmm. My strength. My strength. Mm -hmm. Even when I want to die, I go on. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to let go of all that resentment and anger that you had from that incident? Yes. Would you allow me to do this for you? Yeah. All right. I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I want you to give me all of that feeling that you have felt for this all this time. Breathe it out. <laughs> Breathe it out. All of those fears, all of those resentments and anger are being taken advantage of by someone. Allow it all to come out. You don't need to hold this any longer. Empty out all of yourselves and your essence of it. Let it out. Tell me when I have it all. Keep getting it out. So there's nothing left of it. Do I have it all now? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take all of that out and send it to the universe for healing. Now you've left a very vacant hole in your body where we can fill it. What would you like to fill it with? Security. Let's put a lot of security in there. Feel it going in there, knowing that you're always divinely guided. Always guided. Allow it to seep in, and I'm going to touch your forehead and allow that to just seal it. What else would you like to put in there? Self worth. Let's put a lot of self worth in there. Knowing that you've gone through lifetime to lifetime. Very successful in what you've done. Feel it all going in there, all that self-worth. And let's seal that. What else? Embrace being different. Mm -hmm. Let's embrace being different. Because every person in the entire planet, every, everything, is, everything is different. Feel it, all the diversity. Every tree that you see is different. Every rock is different. Feel it seeping in. And let's seal that. Do you feel complete or is there anything else that you would like to put in there? Do you feel good now? Mm -hmm. But to love what you see, you have to first forgive what you don't want to see. 
I would need for you to look back at that incident that caused you so much pain and be able to forgive this man for harming you and forgive yourself for all of the pain that had caused you all of your life until your death. I want you to look at this man now from a spiritual point of view and tell me who he is. Mm -hmm. I want you to project your love into this man, this soldier. From your heart, project a white light to envelop the outside of him and then go through his heart, filling it with white light from your pure, pure perspective. And as you fill him with white light, you'll be able to see the darkness just dissipate. And when the darkness dissipates, you'll be able to see him for who he really is. What was he there to teach you? You're not invisible. Did you try to make yourself invisible? Yes. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from that lesson? I matter. You matter. That's right. Can you forgive yourself? For thinking lower of yourself, thinking less than, allowing this man to hurt you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Mm -hmm. Because we can only if I, imagine if this man were giving you a gift and you didn't accept the gift, who would that gift belong to? Not me if I didn't accept it. Mm -hmm. So now as you see that scene, would you accept that gift of not being good enough? Of being invisible? So see this as a lesson to take on to all of your different lives that you're living right now and understand that you do matter, that you are very visible and you are worthy of love and respect. But you can only get that if you yourself believe it. So from now on you can see yourself projecting out this beautiful projection of love, worth, ability to love all others, understand them, but at the same time knowing that you are unique and important in this life. You matter. That's right. Take a deep breath in and say it with conviction. I matter. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now I'd like to thank you for participating here today. Allow yourself to disconnect from the life of this woman, Mary. May you find peace and love. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much.
wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Hi. Uh, hi. Welcome back. Uh. What do you remember? Oh, wow. My goodness. Mm-hmm. Tell me, what do you, what do you remember? I can believe the searing pain that was in my shoulder. Mm-hmm. How's it feel now? Oh my God, how awful. It's gone. Mm -hmm. It's gone, but oh, how horrible. How long you feel you're on this journey? Long time. What does it feel like? Not what you, what you calculate. What do you feel? What does it feel? Hopeful. <laughs> you feel hopeful. <laughs> you are out for two hours. What? <laughs> no way. Serious? <laughs> what? Are you serious? How long does it feel you were out? You said a long time. Yeah, but I was thinking like half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours. Maybe an hour tops. Mm -hmm. What do you remember? You remember the life? Or is it starting to fade away? Snippets. Mm -hmm. um, I remember laying there. Next to the man. Mm -hmm. I was reaching for him. Mm -hmm. My heart was breaking. Do you remember anything about your higher self? Felt safe. Mm hmm. Smart. Mm hmm. So much bigger than me. Amazing, huh? Incredible. I don't want to forget. Well, that's why we have the recording. Makes sense. Yeah. So, um, I know a lot of this, the higher self part was pretty personal, but would you like to share the past lives? Yeah, the past lives were interesting. Mm hmm Very interesting. Mm hmm I think so. It was like watching a movie. Very detailed. Was it? You were there. It was like you were there. There was no question about it. Remember. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? How does your body feel? Very relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Very relaxed. Quite a difference from when you walked in here today. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't get past the doubts. That feeling of, of just being worthless. That, that you were shown. Be so strong. Mm, well, that's why you're going to have to listen to it quite a few times so that it'll sink in. You need your eyes? That's and right. Let's disconnect you so that we can say goodbye. Okay. All right. Here we are. We are in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And we just had an amazing, yeah. amazing story. <laughs> so tell everybody what it felt like to be in hypnosis. Not at all what I expected. Okay, um, what did you expect? Um, I was leery that I could be hypnotized, for one. Um, I was worried that I wasn't going to get anything out of it or remember any of it. Um, it was so enlightening and relaxing and 
just rewarding. I mean, the one word that just stands out is just enlightening. It's, it's incredible. Um, the advice, the feeling bigger than who you are, mm -hmm. and trusting in that somebody's got your back. That's right. That's right. It was a beautiful session. It was, it was like being in a movie. It really was. It yeah. was so detailed. And I know that you came here for a reason. What was the reason you came for? Were you just curious? or? No. I was, I was hopeful for answers. Mm -hmm. I, felt, I felt lost. Mm -hmm. And um, I was looking to find some reassurance that I could find myself. And you did. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you like to tell people who are out there watching how to prepare for something like this? I guess the best advice that I can give anybody out there is come with an open mind. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if, you don't, if you set yourself up for failure and thinking that it's not going to work or... Um, that it's useless, then that's exactly probably what you'd get. Mm -hmm. But if you come with the understanding that these are your choices to be here and you're coming because you're seeking answers, mm -hmm. then believe that they're going to come to you yeah. and they will. Yeah, it was beautiful. I mean, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> I love doing these. <laughs> it was wonderful. So yes. if you would like a session with me, go to albawyman.com. Very easy to sign up, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Until the next time, bye. Bye. Good luck. <laughs> Give me a hug. Give me a hug.